Welcome back to Quantum Yogi Wisdom. What we have on 1st of November is not just any ordinary new moon. It's a new moon that aligns with the 111 Angel Portal, and it falls on Diwali, a rare combination that creates one of the most powerful portals to manifest your deepest desires. This is why in this video, I'll share five reasons why you should enter the 111 Diwali New Moon Portal as a high vibrational being, along with a powerful daily manifestation ritual to do until this the 1st of November night. I guarantee that if you enter this portal with high vibrations and do the inner engineering manifestation ritual I'm about to share, everything you desire from your heart will come to you extremely quickly. This ritual will also clear any blockages standing between you and your manifestations. This video is essential for your manifestation journey, so be sure to watch it all the way to the end. But before we get started, if you enjoy content on spirituality, manifestation and cosmic events, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. 11-1 is a rare alignment. It's not often that Diwali, a celebration dedicated to the goddess of wealth, Lakshmi, overlaps with the new moon and a powerful angelic portal date. And as rare as it is, this alignment gives you the perfect chance to set intentions for your deepest desires. The new moon is already known for its energy of new beginnings, but combined with the auspicious energies of Diwali, and the spiritual doorway of 11-1, it becomes an immensely potent time for manifestation. As you listen, remember that everything happening in the universe, this alignment of the new moon, Diwali, and 11-1, also happens within us. Let's dive in. 1. The spiritual significance of 11-1 and the angelic portal. I'm sure you've been noticing a lot of repetitive numbers like 11-11 and 1-1-1. Did you ever feel special about this? Do you have any idea how powerful this makes you? It signifies that you are a chosen one in the universe. Whenever we see these numbers, many of us instinctively close our eyes and make a wish. Do you do that too? Let me know in the comments which number you see the most and what you do when you see them. 11-1 is not just any date. It's a powerful angelic portal that opens to higher dimensions, allowing our thoughts, desires, and intentions to reach the universe with amplified strength. 11 is a very auspicious number across many ancient cultures and numerology. This number represents both our earthly and spiritual realms. Much like needing someone's phone number to connect via a call, this portal acts as our cosmic dial number. 1111, it's as though we're dialing into the universe, sharing our deepest desires to manifest. It's as if the network is really, really strong on the day of 111, where the universe can listen to our intentions and desires very clearly. This is why 11-1 or 11-11 is called as the angel number, because it connects you with higher universal energies. The number 11 is symbolic in both our earthly realm and the universal realm. This is why many who engage in spiritual practices or manifestation often notice frequent occurrences of 11-11, seeing it as a significant and guiding synchronicity. Synchronicities are the channels through which archangels and higher energies guide us, often labeled as coincidences, these can manifest through various forms such as recurring song lyrics, repetitive number sightings, or receiving unexpected messages from someone you were recently contemplating. These occurrences carry symbolic messages or guidance from the spiritual realm. 11. One portal is one of the communication mediums between you and the higher universal energies. During this time, the boundary between the spiritual and material realms is less distinct, making it an opportune time for manifestation. This is when you tell the universe your deepest desires and show gratitude so that you can attract more into your physical reality. The 11-1 new moon portal is like one of the cosmic holidays we can use it for our benefit by setting our intention and releasing it to the universe. As the 11-1 portal approaches, you might notice some common trends. You could experience a boost in your intuition and psychic abilities, manifesting as clearer dreams, insights or messages from your inner self or other positive forces. You may also have moments of telepathy, seeing things vividly in your mind or hearing sounds beyond normal perception. If you're someone who meditates daily or is on a spiritual journey, you'll likely notice an increase in coincidences occurring in your life. This is how the universe attempts to communicate with you and guide you toward change. If you're conscious, you'll be amazed by the synchronicities happening around you. If you're not aware, it's time to be, and that is what you are going to learn from this video. Once you become conscious of your unconscious actions, you'll witness the magic unfolding around you. 
Diwali, which is a celebration of feminine energy, and it falls on the new moon is a time of new beginnings, a blank canvas where you can plant the seeds of your desires. It's a period associated with growth, renewal and amplification. One has to be in high vibrational state to benefit from this cosmic alignment. When Diwali and the new moon converge on this sacred date, it's as though the universe is inviting you to set intentions from a place of high vibration. How often do we stop to reflect on the vibrational state we are in? This unique alignment of Diwali, the new moon, and the 11 one angel portal is a perfect invitation to set intentions for your deepest desires as the universe is listening with heightened awareness. 2. Diwali's Celebration of the Divine Feminine on New Moon Diwali, known as the Festival of Lights, is a vibrant celebration that marks the victory of light over darkness and good over evil. But beneath the surface of this joyful festival lies a profound connection to the divine feminine energy embodied by Goddess Lakshmi, who is revered as the goddess of wealth, prosperity, and abundance. As we approach this significant day, it's crucial to understand how tapping into the divine feminine can profoundly impact our manifestation journey. Why is it essential to honor the divine feminine during Diwali? In many spiritual traditions, Feminine energy is associated with receptivity, intuition, nurturing, and creativity. Unlike the more aggressive outward energy of the masculine, the feminine invites us to go inward, reflect, and embrace the flow of life. When we honor Goddess Lakshmi during Diwali, we're not just paying tribute to an external deity, we're awakening this energy within ourselves. You have to see the wealth Goddess Lakshmi within you by tapping onto your feminine subconscious mind. Goddess Lakshmi symbolizes the abundance that comes from a state of inner harmony and balance. What if the key to attracting wealth and prosperity lies not just in external pursuits, but within our very being? By connecting with the qualities Lakshmi represents, like generosity, gratitude, and joy, we open ourselves up to receiving more blessings. As Diwali coincides with the new moon on November 1st, we are presented with a powerful opportunity to set intentions for prosperity and abundance. This unique alignment is a cosmic reminder that our reality reflects our inner world. When we celebrate Diwali, we are not only illuminating our surroundings with lights, but also igniting the inner light of abundance within us. Have you ever felt a moment of gratitude transform your entire outlook on life? This practice of gratitude is essential during this time, as it aligns us with the frequency of abundance. When we express gratitude for what we already have, we signal to the universe that we are open to receiving more. In yoga philosophy, the interplay between masculine and feminine energies is a foundational concept. The masculine energy is often linked to action, willpower, and structure, while the feminine energy embodies intuition, receptivity, and flow. This duality exists not only in our external relationships, but also within ourselves. During this time, as we celebrate Diwali and the new moon, the balance of these energies becomes even more crucial. The feminine energy peaks, allowing us to cultivate our intuitive abilities and tap into our subconscious mind. When we embrace the divine feminine, we learn to trust our instincts, go with the flow, and allow ourselves to receive blessings with grace. This period leading up to November 1st offers an opportunity for inner work. By embracing the qualities of the divine feminine, we can create a fertile ground for our manifestations to take root. What inner work have you committed to lately? This can include practices like journaling, meditation, or simply taking time to reflect on what truly matters to you. 3. New Moon Energy and the Importance of Inner Alignment The new moon is often seen as a time of darkness, but it actually represents the potential for immense inner light. New moons are a reset point, a blank canvas that offers space for planting seeds of intention. They provide a sacred opportunity to turn inward allowing us to reconnect with our desires, dreams, and the goals that live within our subconscious mind. With the new moon aligning on 11-1, its energy of fresh beginnings is magnified. This is not just any new moon. It's a supercharged moment for setting intentions and performing inner work. As you connect with the new moon, you're aligning yourself with its energy of creation, an energy that allows you to manifest from a space of peace and inner strength. Think about this. Are you consciously setting intentions or are you simply drifting through life? New moons bring an invitation to create balance between light and darkness. As this new moon aligns with Diwali, 
we're reminded of the universe's dualities, such as light and dark, masculine and feminine, and the powerful manifestations that emerge when these are in harmony. 4. The connection between your subconscious mind, left nostril, and the new moon. To fully harness the power of this Diwali new moon, you must dive into the connection between the new moon and our subconscious mind. Whenever it is a new moon, it signifies the perfect alignment between the sun and the moon. The sun represents masculine energy, which is associated with action, consciousness, and the external world. The moon, on the other hand, represents feminine energy, which is tied to intuition, emotion, and the subconscious mind. When these two celestial bodies align, the masculine sun and the feminine moon, we are given an opportunity to align our masculine conscious mind with our feminine subconscious mind, creating a powerful synergy for manifestation. This cosmic alignment mirrors the internal alignment we must achieve to manifest our desires. Our conscious thoughts and intentions must be in harmony with the deep-seated beliefs and emotions that reside in the subconscious mind. To fully harness the power of this period, we must dive into the workings of the subconscious mind, which is where the true magic of manifestation lies. The subconscious mind is often compared to the fertile soil in which our thoughts, beliefs, and desires are planted. While the conscious mind, the part of us that we actively use in our day-to-day -day lives, sets the intention, it's the subconscious mind that nurtures and brings those intentions into fruition. Our subconscious mind is strongly influenced by the lunar energy, which is connected to the feminine aspect within us. The moon governs the feminine, the hidden, the intuitive, and the emotional. This is why during the new moon, especially the Diwal new moon, when the lunar energy is at its peak, our subconscious mind becomes more active and receptive. The veil between the conscious and subconscious mind thins, allowing us greater access to the deeper, more intuitive parts of ourselves. However, this can be a double-edged sword. If we are unaware of the thoughts and emotions that reside within our subconscious, old negative patterns can resurface and be amplified, just like the rough tides in the ocean during a new moon. Unresolved fears, limiting beliefs, and past traumas that have been stored in the subconscious mind may come to the surface, influencing our behavior and reality in ways we may not even realize. This is why it's crucial to enter the new moon with conscious awareness, clarity, and with high vibration, so that the energy being amplified is one of positivity and manifestation, rather than one of fear and limitation. In order to prepare ourselves to fully harness the power of the new moon and align our subconscious mind with our conscious desires, we must first understand the energy channels within us, known in ancient yogic texts as nadis. These nadis are the pathways through which prana, or life force energy, flows within the body. There are said to be over 72,000 nadis within the human body, but the two most important for our purposes are the Ida nadi and the Pingala nadi. Now pay very close attention to Ida nadi because this will help you with the first step of the manifestation ritual, explained in the later part. The Ida nadi runs along the left side of the spine and is associated with the lunar or feminine energy. This channel is connected to the left nostril and it governs the subconscious mind intuition, creativity, and the emotional body. When the Ida Nadi is active, our mind becomes more inwardly focused, more introspective, and more receptive to subtle energies, qualities that are especially important during the new moon. As you approach the new moon, your left nostril tends to be more dominant. Let me know in the comments which nostril is active for you. The Pingala Nadi, on the other hand, runs along the right side of the spine and is connected to the solar or masculine energy. This channel is connected to the right nostril and governs the conscious mind, logic, reason, and action. When the Pingala Nadi is dominant, we are more focused on external tasks and outward expression. During the days leading up to the new moon, the Ida Nadi, lunar channel, becomes more active, making this an ideal time to focus on your subconscious mind and tap into the intuitive, emotional power of the feminine. When we consciously work with this energy through specific practices, such as the Chandra Badana meditation that I will guide you through shortly, we can align our conscious desires, Pingala, with the receptive subconscious mind, Ida, creating a powerful alignment of energies that leads to manifestation. The process of manifestation is not just about visualizing what you want or repeating affirmations, 
It's about aligning your inner masculine and feminine energies to create a harmonious flow between your conscious and subconscious mind. Just as the sun and moon align in the sky during a supermoon to create amplified cosmic energy, when your masculine, conscious, and feminine, subconscious energies align, the energy of creation is at its peak. Think of it like planting a seed in fertile soil. The masculine energy is the seed, the intention, the focused desire that you want to manifest. The feminine energy is the soil, the fertile ground of the subconscious mind that nurtures and grows the seed into a physical reality. But for the seed to grow, the soil must be prepared, and it must be aligned with the energy of the seed. If there is a disconnect between your conscious and subconscious mind, if you are saying you want one thing but holding contradictory beliefs or emotions deep within your subconscious, the manifestation process will be blocked or delayed. 5. The Amplifying Effect of Water and the Moon The moon's gravitational pull affects not only the ocean tides, but also the water within our bodies. Just as the new moon and full moon create extreme tidal shifts, they also amplify our own emotional and energetic states. Water, known for its ability to absorb and carry energy, serves as a conductor for these lunar forces. On a new moon, the ocean experiences the highest tides, with high tides rising higher and low tides falling lower. This tidal effect mirrors our emotional states, amplifying whatever we are feeling. Since our bodies are composed of around 70% water, these lunar shifts influence our energy as well. If we are in a high vibrational state, feeling gratitude, joy, and abundance, those emotions will be amplified, drawing more positive energy into our lives. Conversely, if we're experiencing negative emotions such as fear or doubt, those can also intensify, creating blockages in our energy. This new moon on Diwali is an invitation to tune into this natural rhythm, to use the amplified feminine energy to channel positivity and gratitude. By aligning your intentions with high vibrations, you're synchronizing with the moon's energy, allowing your desires to manifest more powerfully. Now that you have a deeper understanding of the cosmic forces at play and the importance of aligning your conscious and subconscious mind, it's time to walk you through the powerful manifestation ritual that you will perform every night from the moment you see this video until the 1st of November new moon. This ritual is designed to help you tap into the amplified energy of the 11-1 portal and Diwali New Moon, align your internal masculine and feminine energies, and manifest your deepest desires with speed and clarity. The first step of this ritual is a powerful meditation technique called Chandra Bedana, which activates the Ida Nadi, your lunar or feminine energy channel. This technique specifically works with the left nostril, which is connected to your subconscious mind and emotional body. You can do this ritual anytime during the day or night. First, you need to find a quiet space where you won't be disturbed. Sit comfortably with your spine straight and close your eyes. Use your right thumb to gently close your right nostril, leaving only your left nostril open. Begin to breathe deeply and slowly through your left nostril. As you inhale, imagine the cool, soothing energy of the moon entering your body, filling you with light and peace. Hold your breath for a second and then exhale slowly through the left nostril. Repeat this process for at least five minutes, focusing on the cool, calming energy of the moon as it fills your body. With every breath, imagine that you are activating your Ida Nadi, the lunar channel, which connects directly to your subconscious mind. Visualize the energy flowing down the left side of your body, soothing and harmonizing your emotional and mental state. This simple yet powerful breathing technique will help you enter a state of deep receptivity, aligning your feminine intuitive energy with the lunar energies of the new moon. This prepares your subconscious mind to become more open and accepting of the manifestation process, allowing your desires to be planted deeply in the fertile soil of your inner world. Once you have completed the Chandra Badana meditation, the next step is to write down 11 things that you are grateful for. Gratitude is one of the highest vibrational states we can embody, and it serves as a powerful magnet for attracting more positive experiences into our lives. When we focus on what we are grateful for, we shift our energy away from lack or desire and into a state of abundance and fulfillment. This shift in energy is key to the manifestation process because it tells the universe that you are ready to receive more of what you appreciate. Take a moment to reflect on your life and write down 10 things that you truly feel grateful for right now.
It could be anything. Your health, your relationships, your home, your job, or even the simple pleasures of life, like a beautiful sunrise or a delicious meal. As you write each item, take a moment to truly feel the emotion of gratitude in your heart. Imagine that each word you write is sending out a powerful vibration into the universe, affirming that you are aligned with abundance. The third and final step of this ritual is to write down one major goal or desire that you want to manifest before the end of the year. But here's the key. You're going to write it as if it has already happened. By writing in the present tense, you activate the law of assumption, which is a powerful manifestation technique that shifts your energy into the state of already having what you desire. When you act and feel as though your manifestation has already come to pass, the universe begins to align circumstances, people and opportunities to make it a reality. Take some time to reflect on what you truly want to manifest by the end of this year. It could be anything, financial abundance, a loving relationship, a career opportunity, or even personal growth. Once you've decided on your desire, begin to write about it as if it is already December 31st and you are celebrating the fact that it is manifested. The key here is to focus on the feelings of having already achieved your goal. Feel the excitement, the relief, the joy, and the gratitude as you write. The more real these emotions feel to you, the faster the universe will respond by aligning your external reality with your inner state of being. Once you've completed these three steps, meditation, gratitude writing, and manifestation writing, you have planted powerful seeds in the fertile ground of your subconscious mind. But the work doesn't stop there. To truly harness the energy of the new moon and speed up the manifestation process, it's important to repeat this ritual every night until 1st of November. Hold on to all the papers until November 1st, and on that night, you can burn them along with the papers from the special new moon ritual I'll be sharing in my upcoming videos. Every day as you perform the Chandra Badana meditation, you are further activating your lunar channel, allowing the subconscious mind to become more receptive to your desires. As you continue to write down the things you are grateful for, you are raising your vibration and aligning with the frequency of abundance. And as you write your manifestation in the present tense, you are reinforcing the belief that what you desire is already yours, further aligning your inner world with the outer reality you wish to create. Dot. This is your time to manifest miracles. Enter this Diwali new moon with high vibrations, an open heart, and a clear intention, and watch as the universe responds with swift and powerful manifestations. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please give a thumbs up and let me know in the comments. I'll see you in the next video.